All right, Kimberly, thank you. Take a look at our Cheetah Championship step ladder bracket. Andrew Anderson, Jacob Buttruff, bat leadoff, Chris Kelso. Bam, bam is back in match number two. <laughs> Kyle Sherman in match number three. Christian Azcona, your one seed. Plenty more on Christian coming up. He has one tour title. He's looking for number two, and we begin with the introductions. Here's Andrew Anderson. He rolls out of Holly Lanes in Holly, Michigan. The 2018 Chris Schenkel PBA Player of the Year, Andrew Anderson. Oh, a little wide of target, but gets all 10 to go. We talk about those two single titles in 2018. That was also the year he was PBA Player of the Year. Rolling out of Bolero Mesa in Mesa, Arizona, the 2019 Masters Champion, Jacob Buttruff. Tomorrow night and Wednesday here on FS1. Maybe his best shot so far, and he leaves your, was, uh, your friend the 10 pin. Yeah, an incredible risk reward tonight. You saw how far right, but also 71 gutter balls. They are playing on the twig tonight for sure. Messenger! Come on! From professionals, sounds incredibly high to me. And they're, they're going to be dancing. They're going to be dancing with that devil all night long. Well. Wow. The four pin on that hit, but he leaves the 10 with it. I might. I might. Whoa. That was close. He went for it. Open frame in the fourth. Okay. Last night here on FS1. And it was just as awesome then as it was live. Another strike for Butcher. I mean, those spare conversions we had were insane last night. Yeah! Three in a row. We're not done yet. <laughs> that was close. We used it every week. Uh, we put that stuff on in between games, sometimes in the in the middle of the game. Uh -oh. Oh, and if you did it in the middle of the game, you had to find somebody who was a smoker so you can borrow their lighter so that you can yeah. set it on fire and oh, make man. it dry faster. I mean, it's like a poo-poo platter on your hand. Look at the reactions from Jacob. You're setting things on fire, on, like within, well, that, within so the, the millimeter of your skin. The liquid, is, it's got ether in it. It's highly flammable. Nice pickup from Batra to remain clean. It's highly flammable, so you... you... Oh, no. Get down. Make it, make it, make it. Ooh. Another open frame for Anderson. Not the time for that. And Buttrup has a massive opportunity to close this one out. Yeah, and instead of... Winner. Nine will do. Clean and safe, and Buttrup moves on. It's your five seed, Jacob Buttrup will advance to take on Chris Kelso in match number two. Cleans that one up. That's too bad because if Anderson strikes in that ninth frame, we've got a real ball game heading into the ninth and tenth for Buttruff. Jacob Buttruff will start us off. We appreciate you watching wherever you are. Jason and Cole Kiefer in Greater Annapolis, good to have you along with us tonight here on FS1. Pulling out of Holiday Lane, 
Plains in Lakewood, Colorado, the 1819 Greater Denver Male Bowler of the Year, Chris Kelso. Bam, bam, drops off 10. I like this kid a lot. You know, that stepladder in the West region of Jupiter. Jacob, as we mentioned in the outset, by far the most experienced of the five finalists today here at the Cheetah. Yeah, without question. Seven tour titles, one major. And he's definitely flirted with player of the year honors as well in the past. Slams those two into the pit, remains clean. coma but today he is sitting lane side in a moment mike describes as blessed and adding i didn't even know if i was going to open up my eyes i asked mike what it means to be here watching his son chase his dream and he responded honestly he's making both of our dreams come true then laughed and said but he didn't learn to bowl like that from me he is so much better than i am is back home in a medically induced coma and he's out of it and with us today it is just awesome to have him here bam bam went right down the middle he knew it he knew it. His uncle Tim from Peoria is here as well. Let me tell you, those two pins will, will not feel the same in the morning. I'm gonna need some leave. Or Three Advil. doses. Yeah. yeah. So the seven ten split's been made four times, right? Yeah. Last by the Ginger Assassin. See the smile on my face right now when he said those two words? Yeah. Butcher have given it right back to Chris. Yeah. The big four made only one time. Right from the last game. How about this? Back to back open frames here in the fourth. Kelso was worried. He might have just handed things away. Now Butcher. Christopher, come on. Another big miss left. And then he gets here. Come it. on now. Stay cool, man. Stay cool, Chris. Chris needs a Chris needs a commercial break, right? He needs a timeout right now. Striking. He hasn't struck once on that right lane this game. Just one strike total here in match number two for Tucker. Make it two strikes. There you go. There you go, Bam Bam. He's back. Yeah, you know, that pretty much says it all. Back to back jacks for Bam Bam. Number for Kelso, that's a leap change. Chris now leads by three pins. Eight break. There you go. Late kick of the seven. Winner of this one gets Kyle Sherman, your two seed. Christian Ascona is your one seed. I'm pretty disappointed in that. You're not alone. Be good. Oh my. Oh yes. Oh, what a late slide to take out the seven. Huge break for Buttruff. Yeah, but he needed a strike to regain the lead. Curls that one in. Took a while to get there, didn't it? Yeah, that, that could have been a shot clock violation based on just how long the ball took to get down there. <laughs> Go! Ah. Oh. Missed it. Open frame. Horrible timing. Come on. What are you doing? The 2-7. Well, if he strikes out, Jacob Buttrev. Go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Back to back, Jax. Give yourself a chance. Left the seven. Not over yet. Through the course of Cheetah qualifying. Oh, 
Thank you for avoiding the announcer jinx there, Jacob. match it with a strike or he's done let's keep rolling <laughs> all right so maybe we didn't have the big scores that we were looking for in that match but we sure have some excitement now don't oh, we oh man pull off ball oh, yeah that was good Right lane. He almost left the pocket 7 10. Not this time. Let's make it three. Wow. Yeah. Dialed in. Late kick of the seven. Caught that seven. Don't try to make sense of things tonight, Randy. I know, man. It's crazy. Trip. It's over! Bam Bam moves on! Wow! What a match! An epic showdown! Chris Kelso a couple wins away from that PBA belt for Bam Bam Kelso. Momentum carrying on here for Bam Bam. He rolls out of St. Charles Lanes in St. Charles, Missouri. 2019 Mixed Doubles Champion, Kyle Sherman. That one tour title and Mixed Doubles in 2019. <laughs> Messenger, yeah! <laughs> Never lost a game. Back opening jacks. That needs to hug. Okay. Get out of Bam Bam's way, man. Get out of Bam Bam's way. Click the YouTube link. Then you click. Oh, okay, so you click the YouTube link, and then it's our Kia post game show. Bingo. Come on. Yeah. Randy, you know what's better than a double? A uh, triple? Make it a triple. <laughs> has gone down the lane. Six straight strikes for Kelso, dating back to the roll-off. Uh-oh. They walked away from that one awfully quickly, didn't he? Left the two-pin. Yeah. Curls that one in. Remains clean. And Kelso now looking for his seventh straight strike. Yeah. Dating back to the last match. Oh. oh, really? Oh, really? That was good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right off your hand. Oh, bank pin lead as he closes out the fifth. <laughs> Risk reward, amigo. Chris Kelso, probably a little bit surprised on numerous levels that he's still here bowling tonight. Just a part-time player on the Pro Tour. Oh, boy. Yeah, what do you mean, oh, boy? 
play. That's perfection from Bam Bam. By a band that someone's going to have to Google for me. Skillet. Oh, that's not Skillets or Skillet. Oh, it got down. It got down. Bam Bam knocked it. Bam Bam knocked pins down. <laughs> Sherman down nine. Oh, uh, nice strike, kid. Made a big move right. He actually moved seven. So accepting of me when I joined the PBA. And boy, Bill, we're, we're cheering for you, man. We're really thinking of you here. Yeah, Bill. Our thoughts and prayers and wishes are with So 216 in the books for Sherman. He's going to sit and watch this one play out. Kelso, double and five. He bowls for the title. See you on the tour. Get out here more often. But I'm good. Kyle Sherman. Well, you know there's some ladies out there weak in the knees when Kyle Sherman walks by. <laughs> Great job by our crew to find that sign. I'm in shock. Uh. Championship match uninterrupted here on FS1. Your two seed, Kyle Sherman, up first. start a title match. A five-time member of Team Puerto Rico, he rolls at Lakeside Lanes in Tavares, Florida, Christian Ascona. About 21% of the time on the tour, it's cleaned up. Those stats, courtesy of our partners at Lane Talk. Get down, oh, right. seven, oh, right. pin, you dirty little. Come on, man. Yeah, so very similar to Belmonte's. He had the 10 pin instead of the six, but that's just unlucky. And that's the problem. Of oh, yeah! oh my, what a cleanup, Kimberly, for a guy who frankly doesn't think he's having that great of a season. Yeah, absolutely, because during our pre-show interview, Christian described his season so far as not great. Is it Sherman's time? Is he poised to step up on the big stage, the biggest stage in our sport? That's got a hook. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, talk to me. There's strike number four for Sherman. And you, see, him. you see the six pin on that shot? Go to the sidewall and kick the 10 out. Look at Pops. Pops, yeah, you bet, man. Watch watch the uh, six pin, second from right. Way different attitude on this shot here. Again. Two, four, eight. Better pay this one some respect. Curl that one in nicely.
Oh, it's a beauty of when he needed it most. Pressure goes right back on Ascona. Damn, baby! Come on! That's three in a row for Sherman. Six total strikes for him. Had that open frame in the second. Continues to give him issues. He just can't get it around the corner on that right lane. Oh, did it once, but not twice. Open frame. Untimely moment for that. Foundation frame ninth. Still make the shark show. Still have the USBC Masters to go, but an open frame in the ninth, an open frame in the tenth. And in that, that was the highest scoring of the, the World Series of Bowling 13. Scoring pace tonight was not very good. Kyle Sherman, keep it on the lane. You've got yourself a title. The drinks are on pops. You're going to seek him out, aren't you? Snickers, nothing satisfies like a Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a PBA Tour title. Keep dropping them, Kyle. Yes! yes! You know, he hung in there and he used his talent. He used his oh talent, his touch. God. And he stayed committed. We talked about him in the open. Thank this you. kid is destined Thank for big things. And it pays off his first ever single time. Hug it out with Pox. Yes. Commissioner Tom Clark there as well. Oh, this thing. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. This crowd is crazy. Thank you, Storm. Thank you, Turbo Boy Depot. And all the Brad and Kyle fans out there on the YouTube channel, my family. Oh, God, this is crazy. Thank you. Finally. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, Kimberly, but I did. That's okay, this is your moment. You can say whatever it is that you want. Oh, look at this crowd, absolutely loved you. You put on such a great show. Sorry, I can't even hear you. I literally can't even hear you. Okay, well, let's talk about this match for a quick second here because in the sixth, you were actually down by 12, and then you just put a string of strikes together. What changed? Yeah, uh, my ball rep, Jim, said over there, if you want it, go take it. So I didn't throw them great. That's kind of why they were 10 pinning. And then I just said, hey, you got to. Nut up here and throw the best shots you can. And they fell, and, and you're the we got a trophy. <laughs> yes, you do. And in the pre-show, you said to us you wanted to win this tonight because you wanted to prove to everybody that you could be the big man out here on your own. What does this moment mean to you? Oh, yeah, I've always caught a lot of slack for having half a title, but they can't say they anymore. We got one and a half now, baby! Congratulations on your win. part of my bowling career to make this happen again the Brad and Kyle fans and my mom and dad oh my god uh, congratulations Kyle we're just getting going here the Scorpion Championship coming your way tomorrow night 8 Eastern on FS1 in the Fox Sports app oh yeah there he is Mr. Miller's in the house that's so awesome